sick Thick notes. notes. <laughs> I love the way you said that in tune. Right, <laughs> OK, yeah, we're, we're going to get serious now. This is our um, page four of the Daily Mail. Now you can get a chemist to write you out your sick note. Pharmacists and nurses at GPs clinics will be allowed to sign. Now, they're not actually called sick notes anymore. I didn't even realise this until I read this what story. Are they, called, they are called fit notes. Mm. Oh. This was a or change unfit. that happened the other mm. year. Um, it's, it's basically a, a GP has to sign you to be fit to go back to work rather than sick to take time off work. And last year, GPs issued 10 million fit notes, which have replaced sick notes. Now, this is a drive to get GPs seeing patients again and actually concentrate on what they need to. Because, I mean, a fit note you can probably do over the phone, or as, as they're doing here, popping into your chemist. You don't so, need to see a doctor to do but you've that. Got to, so you've got to get the chemist to write it and then you've got to get your doctor to sign it? No, 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 no. no. Evidently, the, the, the chemist is now allowed to sign you mm. off. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, basically, it's... it's Powers to the pharmacy. It's in, it, in theory, absolutely, which is a good thing. However, pharmacists are already under an awful lot of pressure. They're taking on a lot more jobs mm. in any case. The queue around the block outside my local pharmacy in East London is, is already fairly horrendous. You have to wait half an hour to get through mm. the door these days. Mm. Meanwhile, the GPs is still done up like Fort Knox with hazard warning tape. You can't get in mm. there. Telephone appointment in three weeks' time if you're not dead yet. <laughs> so, it is... It's, it's, it, the, the theory is that we will now get more of us get to see our GPs in face a face to face appointments when we need to see them so it's given them more time whether that will actually happen or not is another matter. but this is a lead you know. swingers charter isn't it it's a lead swingers charter really already nice. when you, if, when you're going to see a doctor and say oh doctor i've got a bad back can you sign me off for seven days? Every doctor will tell you it's impossible to diagnose whether you have got a bad back or whether you're swinging the lead. So if that's a doctor's point of view, the old chemist who's more used to putting together packets of aspirin and this sort of stuff, how is that pharmacist going to tell whether you have actually got a bad back or not? He's, he's not even a trained medical it's, person. It's, it's a lead well, swingers no, they, charter. To be fair, lead they, swingers charter. They, they are, pharmacists are very highly trained. They are, but they're yeah. not trained in the development of the spinal cord in a human body, oh, are they? No. So when you go in, oh, look, Doc, can't you see? I've got a bad back. I need seven days off. What, what can a pharmacist do to, to disprove this? Anything. Can he call you a liar and say, I don't believe you've got a, a bad back? You're lying. I'm not giving you a note. The well, other, that would cause a riot. The yeah. other worrying story on the same page in the Daily Mail is, is where the state we are with trying to get our uh, medical care at the moment is a nightmare of an A&E wait with a 13-hour uh, wait. 13 year. Feels 13 like years. it's yes. a lot worse. 13 <laughs> years. Yeah. A 13-hour wait, Isabel, and it's like, you know... The, the fact that you can't get to see a GP now is putting so much pressure on A&Es and I've got friends as a paramedic and, and at the end of their tether because oh. people are going to A&E using paramedics rather than seeing GPs, mm. which should open up now. Please, why not? Yeah. Yes. Um